right everybody what is up it's thunder welcome back and guys right off the bat it looks like there is another call of duty player a very big call of duty player professional call of duty player who has quit the infinite warfare franchise and i cannot believe it's taken this guy this long because you know me i was done day one of the beta i was like i'm done i'm out optic scumpy tweeted this out earlier he goes yo i'm never touching infinite warfare again and bro i don't think any of us blame you look at all those retweets twenty six thousand. well not retweets twenty six thousand likes <laughs> scumpy what took you so long man damn it took you till august 15th to realize you're never gonna touch that game again man i, I salute you i applaud you that's incredible look at this dude oh my god man this dude's doing the floors lava challenge look at that vertical leap Sign that man up for the dunk contest. Cannot wait for Boots on the Ground to come back. Speaking of which, I did see some Boots on the Ground gameplay from Game Informer today. They uploaded an eight minute clip of pure, just mm, sexy, sweet, COD World War II Boots on the Ground goodness. And I will link it down in the description. I was thinking of uploading some footage, like some gameplay, because they showed the ball tart gunner, the chopper guys. Looks like Chopper Gunner is going to be back. Actually, I was going to kick off this video with the ball tart gunner with the Chopper Gunner music in the background. But I just don't want to risk it. I know some other YouTubers out here have uploaded the footage, uh, but I'm not going to risk it. I mean, it, it, they say exclusive in the title on Game Informer. And if I'm uploading it, if everyone else is uploading it here on YouTube, it's not exclusive. So, yeah, not, not going to risk it. But I will link it down in the description. Hey, guys, listen, I know I said I was going to wait until the beta to say if this game's going to be good. But, dude, from everything I've seen so far, and this uh, gameplay that's over on Game Informer right now that I will link in the description, uh, this pretty much is a cherry on top of the cake, man. This, I don't even need to wait till the beta. This game's going to be lit. This game's going to be great. I'll say it right now. I have not said a Call of Duty is going to be great without playing it until, what, MW3? <laughs> that might have been the last time. And I wound up hating MW3 after the SITREP Pro buff when everyone would just duck walk all over the place and you couldn't move. Uh, it was already broken even way before that, but I don't even need to play the beta, fellas. I'm already going to say this game's going to be good. This game's going to be great. Nah, the hell with good. It's going to be great. It's definitely going to be playable. Uh, the kill streaks looked amazing, dude. I seen the flamethrower in action. The flamethrower looks really, really cool. Uh, you guys can see it all, too. Looks like the melee two-hit kill is back. No more Panic Knife. Panic Knife looks like it's gone from COD forever. But the guy who was playing in the Game Informer uh, COD World War II uh, footage, look, he was using the STG-44. They showed a bunch of different weapons in the game. They showed the STG-44, and that gun right now looks like it could be the ACR of COD World War II, man. The gun had, like, no kind of recoil at all. It melted. You could definitely see that crispy 60 hertz hit detection. I know the guys on the PC right now are saying, Is it, did this man just call 60 Hertz crispy? Well, guys, us on console, especially uh, COD players, yeah, 60 Hertz is, is much better than what we're used to. <laughs> the, the hit detection looked crispy as hell. And, dude, I'm so excited, man. It looks like the chopper gunner is definitely going to be back. When you guys go see that video down in the description, when you see them, them use the chopper gunner, the ball tar gunner, it looks exactly like the chopper gunner from Black Ops 1. So I might have to hit up my man Gavin. We might have to do a ball turret gunner, chopper gunner remix. And ooh, get on baby. Sit down, son. <laughs> Dude doing the floors lava challenge again. I'm, it's going to be so Look at these guys flying all over the place. Look at this. You guys might recognize this clip right here. I uploaded this clip when I did the, uh, the trailer re-upload. I went ham right here in this piece. Just going off on these dudes. I was sick and tired of these guys jumping all over the place. I'm like, you want to jump? Let's jump. Let's go. To jump. Let's go. Let's have a jumping contest. Bunny hop over the wall. I got your ass. There you go, son. Sit down. That dude's jumping everywhere. <laughs> we're going to go from playing a COD game where the good players were the best jumpers <laughs> to now we're going to be playing COD World War II. Hopefully, the best players won't be the best head glitchers, <laughs> but the actual best players. But it just seems like in this game, man, you need to jump a lot in these, these new Call of Duty games. It's all about the movement system in these newer COD games. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wanted to get back to the gun play, not the not the bunny hop play. I'm sick of that shit. Did I just put that hive pot up on that leaf? Ah, uh, whatever. 
So the Hive gets a kill. The Glide Bomb looked amazing, too. You guys are going to see uh, the Glide Bomb. The kill streaks look like they're going to be a lot of fun. And make no mistake, they need to be. Good kill streaks is essential for this game's survival. And that flamethrower, dude, when you light people on fire the way they scream, oh my goodness. I'm hyped. I don't even need to play the beta. I'm already saying the game's going to be good. Who disagrees with me? You guys go watch that gameplay and come back here and tell me if, if you disagree with me. The game looks absolutely amazing. Sledgehammer, I think you did it. I, I think you just might have done it. <laughs> it's about time. What have I been saying, fellas, all these years? I'm like, hey, they do, man. Somebody keeps messing up over and over again. They, they do. They're bound to learn from their mistakes and crank out a hit. And it looks like Sledgehammer Games definitely has a hit on their hands with COD World War II. Oh, that STG looked crazy, man. I cannot wait to get my hands on it. STG, one of my favorite weapons from COD World at War. It looks like it's going to be a fan favorite here in COD World War II. But anyway. All right, guys. That's the gameplay here. Uh, shout out to Lugwrench for keeping it interesting here. He made it a close game. My man dancing like Drake in the background. Bunny hopping all over the place. <laughs> okay, man. Take that jetpack off, son. Yeah, you keep spinning. Take that jetpack off. Boots on the ground is back. <laughs> You're not going to need that jetpack much longer. Anyway, guys, that's all I got. I hope you enjoyed this gameplay commentary. And if you did, please don't forget to like it, share it, all that good stuff. And I'll see you back on the next one.